All right, so we're uh, removing the uh, pull container 20 off a uh, five ton on the front. Um, this tire actually goes on the level of my truck, which is right in front of it. Um, I had to swap the other day because I had to go somewhere and the tire we took off this truck had was set truck to separate. Um, so I had to get it off there. It couldn't even hardly drive it. So I take this tire off, put it on that one, grab the other tire, we just mount it up, put it on this one. Um, the fronts, I think, are a lot easier because they don't have a long hub to deal with. They can be fun going back on because of the free, the little freeway. Um, the wheel is, you know, the hub can spin. Um, but not that difficult. Um, the rears are pretty simple when you put your the crowbar. Um, always have one of these handy. For preference. I mean, on the rear, what I'll do, I'll take two of these, grab on each side, and just wiggle it until it pops off. Um, got a 20 ton hydraulic jack over there, a jack stand available right now. Um, six by six block, two proper blocks above that. Uh, hold it steady. It's not worried about it going anywhere. So, alright, take it off. This one's going over there, and then we'll do the rest. Kind of work your way off of there at an angle. It makes it a little bit easier. This is doing something on my driveway. Not a lot of room really, but it's uh, not that difficult. Just try to keep it on a center balance. If you do have to roll in a good ways, Remember on these tires, um, even with the wheel, push it with one hand, push it with another hand. That way, roll it once, push it, roll it once, push it. Take it in to put it back on. Um, you can take the jack up a little bit higher. Try to so it can just sit right on it. You just pop over the jack and it'll fall on the hub. Um, it doesn't really matter, really. Um, you see that, that doesn't really work. Sevens for this, the G1 on Goodyear's, the 120s. This is going to beat you up because those things do not like to grip, go to grab underneath them very much. So, just kind of play with it a little bit. No, no reason to be in a hurry. Get your top bolt lined up. Turn your uh, angle up right there. Pop it. beat you down every time. But don't let them. Don't get frustrated. It's just a tire. Um, you can also get the, uh, the tire dollies. The tire jacks are a problem. Um, I don't use it really. Um, I've done this for a good many years. It's just a lot easier to do it this way. Another truck, this one just mounted up. I think it took 11 minutes for me to mount it together. For 10 minutes for a dismount. Um, not too hard, I mean, get a flat on the highway, got a tire on your back, 
shouldn't take less than probably 25 minutes to get back on the road and rolling. Um, to me, it actually takes me longer to get the air out of the tire and the air back up. It takes me to get the tire and the wheel apart, new tire on, and rolling again. And to get out of the back of the truck. Um, so, again, just be careful with it. I'm kind of in a tight spot here. I'm try to keep that tire on a pivot if you have to, so it's not going to fall really too, too much. Uh, now you're going to have it at an angle anyway. Get up under this. Uh, uh, so, once again, I'm going to tell you, uh, when, I, when I line them up, I try to get at least one in the one o'clock position line, the one o'clock position line, so you're kind of close to it. Uh, everything will free spin, but when you pry up on it, you just try to turn this a little bit, and it will spin on You can see them spin a little bit when you need them to go. Probably have more tread on it. So it's a little bit of a jack. Watch, you can see it fall on there. We'll come back over this way. Try to get even with the tire on the camera. Now watch when you jack it up. Let's get back some. You can sit back there. Um, watch when the jack goes up. You see it just fell right on there. Got a little clearance on bottom. Always take your jack out of the jack handle out of there in case it's going to explode. It's on. And uh, again, go ahead and get three, four cans. Also be careful on your, uh, you put them on of your offset and they will get a little crooked on you. You know, when the lug, when the lug goes on, the um, way I learned to counter that was is uh, take one off, prop it on the other one, and then grab here. There, this is off. Pop that there. Inside of the hub will spin them for you. Uh, actually, your tire actually was going to spin, but close enough for government work anyway. So, alright, that's how easy it can be to put a tire on and off. Don't kill yourself. Don't use your back. They finally got the ground, but, you know, um, good part of it. Let me stop it.